everybody, it's Man 1994 here with my tutorial on how to set up a Wii internet connection. Okay, let's get started. For this, you will need a Wii, you will need broadband internet, dial-up internet, and satellite internet is not acceptable if you want to go online with your Wii. And you also will need a wireless router or a Nintendo Wi-Fi USB connector to get online. And let's get started. So everybody turn on your Wii. And right here I'm at the Wii menu. And first we need to set up a Wii internet connection. Okay, so click at the bottom left corner. Click the Wii button. This is Wii options. Go to Wii settings. And press plus and click internet. Go to connection settings and they should all be blank if this is your first time setting up an internet connection. Click connection one, wireless connection. And if you have um, a wireless router, click search for an access point. It's the wireless router, step first. And then it says choose an access point you want to connect to. Press OK and you see your wireless router there. And if it's a lock symbol, then you should have a code for your wireless router. If you do not know if you have a wireless router, I suggest you ask your parents. Or if you are the parents, I would I would suggest that you kind of figure that out. I would hope you do know. But as you can tell, if you can get on a um, if you can get on a laptop on the internet wirelessly, that means you have a wireless router. So yeah, just search for connection. You should find your wireless router on there and type in the password. Click your thing, click your connection, um, or your access point. It should say WEP, WPA, anything like that. That's a Wii. I mean, that's an actual internet code, and it's like a password on your internet, and you simply type in your password. Um, it's usually, yeah. So if it's WEP code, it's usually like 10 digits. Um, and if you don't know it, then... I really, you know, that's really important if you ever want to get online, so you need to figure that one out. You can easily figure that out by going to your router's setting page. Um, yeah, and just figure that out there. And yeah, so basically just do that. You have to do that on your own because there's so many different wireless router settings and stuff. I can only give you the optimal settings, which I will tell you a little bit later. Um, and yeah, now you got it set up. So you type in your password and everything, test the connection, and if it's successful, great. If it's not, and you get an error code, type in that, that error code on support.nintendo.com, and you'll see what's the matter. Also, whenever you set up an access point, whenever you have your access point set up, it should say, whenever you go back to it, and it should say, connection one, wireless, I would go in and press change settings. And... Um, this way you can make your settings optimal on the Wii. Press the minus button and the MTU value, change it to 1500-1500. Proxy server, don't use. Auto obtain DNS, no. Advanced settings. Um, and yeah, in order to um, find this out, you need to go to your computer. So yeah, you also need it. Let's go run over to your. I mean, you're on the computer now. So what you need to do is you need to go to um start. This is only for Windows. Start, run, and type in cmd. Now that you typed in cmd, type in ip c o n f i g slash all. Press enter, and a whole bunch of stuff should pop up, and you should see says IP address. It might say 192.168.0.1 something like that. And basically you you need I would write that down if I were you. You need to get a sheet, get out a sheet of paper, write down your IP address, write down your subnet mask and your DNS servers. Okay. Now run back over to your Wii and whatever you clicked auto obtain DNS, you click no, then you click advanced settings. Type in your um, the DNS server, the first one that listed there, and mine is 192.168.0.1, which is the optimal one that almost all of them use, and just OK, and press OK there. You don't need to do a secondary DNS, you can just leave that blank, confirm that, press minus, and go back to auto obtain IP address, and press no, go to advanced settings, for IP address, 
Don't copy the exact same IP address. Keep all the beginning until you get to the end. So for mine is 192.168.0.1, but I want to keep the 192.168.0.1, but need to add a few extra things because you can never have the same IP address. That is bad. So if I were you, I would type in on the last part, I would do dot one dot six seven or dot one dot three five. Change it to anything. You don't really even have to remember it. Just change it to something, you know, different than what I than what was on your computer. Press OK. Type in your subnet mask. Type in your default router, which is um, which is your default gateway, which you should have written down before. And yeah, just confirm that. And, pr and there you go, just save it. And now your connection, now you just press save. And it should say, do you want to perform a connection test? It initiates one. And your connection speed should be even faster than before. Now, if you have a Nintendo Wi-Fi USB connector, you simply plug in your USB connector to your computer, press, um, and then when you're on your Wii, instead of pressing um, wireless, instead of pressing search for an access point, you click um, the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection USB, USB connector, and basically what you do from there, you just press next, and you go to your computer and accept your Wii, and you'll be connected from there easily. Now, for your router, I have a few things I need to tell you about your router. If you want to have good internet connection, make sure whenever you go to your router settings, I can't really tell you how to do that or how to log into that because they're all different, but this is something that should all be the same for the Wii. Your channel should be 1 or 11. Your router's channel should be 1 or 11. It should be um, the the radio thing. It should be G and B mixed. You don't want to have just G, you don't have just B, you want to have B, G, and N mixed, you know, just mixed with all three of them or, or both of them. And you also want to make sure that um, that your, um, <laughs> your, your um, security settings are not WPA2. The Wii can do WPA2, but I would not recommend you have that because... Sometimes it'll have troubles with WPA2. So keep it to WPA, WEP, or just an open, you know, no password at all. And yeah, and that's how you set up a Wii internet connection. And that's how you get your Wii connected to the internet. If you have any troubles, post a comment below, and I will be extremely happy to help you. And I will try to get your Wii internet connection running up up and nice and fast. If you have a question about a specific router, tell me what kind of router you have and I will try to help you do my best of to the best of my abilities. I'm pretty good with D-Link routers so I can really help you guys and tell you where to go on D-Link routers because I have one. Yeah, just tell me what your problem is and I'll try to help you out. Um, and yeah. So now you guys know. How cool is that? So now you, there's no excuse why you can't go online and you know, go online with your Wii and play around and it'll be lots of fun. Yes, yeah, so now you can, guys can go on Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Animal Crossing and Mario Kart and download the internet channel, download games to the Wii Shop channel, and you guys can play games with me. So yeah, you guys have opened a brand new realm on your Wii and it's just, you guys will be happy you did. There's a lot of offerings online for the Wii. Well, yeah. Well, that about wraps it up. Please rate, comment, unsubscribe. It only takes a few clicks. And I will see you guys later. And until then, this is Emerald Man, 1994-1994, signing off. Signing off. Goodbye, YouTube. Have a great and wonderful, terrific day. Bye-bye.